know, I find this is a question that, you know, the, the calculation part of it's going to be really simple here, but students just won't really think. They'll write the answer as 11 and, and then change that to a decimal. Um, you can't do They have to think in, in reality with this question, okay? So the cost, C, will be 12 feet times the amount it is per foot, 389. And if we multiply this on out, we have 12 times 3.89, and we get $46 and 60, ooh, that's ugly, and 68 cents. Two more examples, and then I'll turn you guys uh, loose here. So these, like I said, would be good ones for you to uh, possibly try on your own. Um, if we were not doing this in class, I might encourage you to read this question, try it. Uh, see what your answer is, and then you can even fast forward this video and see if your uh, answer matches up. All right. So, it says the school council has six yards of fabric that will be cut into five inch uh, wide strips. So I have a picture right there uh, to make decorative banners for the school dance. How wonderful. So, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to basically figure out if we're cutting into five inch strips and we have six yards, why don't we convert this six yards into inches and then we can just simply divide. So, we'll start over here. We have six yards. Okay. Now, let's first change it, and you don't necessarily have to here, but let's look at our chart above there. We are over here at yards. Let's try to change it straight into inches. So, we have 36 like that. So, since we're trying to get rid of yards, always think that the yards are going to go on the bottom here, and inches are going to go up top. We know that one yard is worth 36 inches. Notice you'll see the yards will cancel. So if we just take 36 times 6, we will have your uh, solution in inches here. So uh, let's see here. We have 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 30 is 180. That gives you 216 inches. All right. Now that we have 216 inches, all right, we need to figure out the number of banners that we can make. So 216 inches. And we're cutting them into five inch pieces, I believe. So let's see here. Um, five goes into 200. If you noticed, I like to do as much of this mathematics uh, in our head, because I think mental, mental math, when you're at the store, what have you, is very important. Uh, five goes into 240 times, and then five would go into 16 um, three times. So that would be 43, with one remainder, which gives you a 0.2. So 43.2 banners we could make. Well, again, if you think in, in realistic terms, that really means you're not going to make 0.2 of a banner. So I would say that your correct answer for this would be 43. Our last example, solving a problem involving scale diagrams. I find that these problems give students um, quite a bit of difficulty. Um, so let's try and make sure that we have a, a good understanding of this. So you've probably seen these scale diagrams on a globe or any maps that you've seen. Obviously, I said to one of my students, what would happen if we had an actual size map? Well, it probably wouldn't be that useful. If you had a map of Kelowna that was as big as Kelowna, it'd be pretty hard to fit in your vehicle. So, a map of BC shows the distance between Kelowna and Vancouver to be 1 to 4.55 million. The distance on the map is 3 and 9 16 inches. What is the distance to the nearest mile? So let's first start off with this conversion factor over here. What this means is, no matter what you take, you could take one centimeter. Okay, so if you me measured actually um, one centimeter on a map, it's actually worth 4.55 million centimeters. If you took um, a meter, one meter is worth 4.55 million uh, meters. So it doesn't matter what we are dealing with here. So if we see that the distance on the map is 3 and 9 16 inches, then in reality, if we want to figure out how many inches that is, we would just multiply it by the 4.55 million. So that's what I'm going to do right here. So let's take 3 and 9 16 inches and let's multiply it by 4.55 million. Okay, So this is one where obviously you'd be able to use a calculator. You're able to use a calculator in this entire course. All right, So we will take um, 3 and 9 sixteenths, multiply it by that. Let's go and just change uh, 3 and uh, 9 sixteenths into an improper fraction. So we'll go 16 times 3 plus 9. Okay, so that gives you 57, so we'll go 57 divided by 16. Okay, so that's our improper fraction written in decimal format. All right, so 3 and 3.5625 inches, if you will. Let's multiply that by 4.55 million. We get 
approximately, what is that, uh, 16 million inches. Okay, so we'll write this as 16,209,375 inches. Seems like quite a ways. Well, that we've never answered. I'd never say to someone, uh, you know, how far is it from Kelowna to Vancouver? Oh, it's about 16 million inches. So let's change that to make sense. And of course, the question was asking for the nearest mile anyways. So the next step, I'll just write you a little road sign here, and I don't mind you doing this in your homework, just letting me know what the heck you're doing next. Um, now, we must change from inches to miles. So let's do this. 16,209,375 inches. Use your inches. now. If we're getting rid of inches and we want to get to miles, well, let's take a look. Let's come back up here to that chart. Is there a way to go from straight inches, so all the way up here, to miles? Well, notice how they don't have anything there. So we're going to have to do two different conversions. All right. So let's first get rid of inches. So I'll put inches down there so they'll cancel. And let's put it into feet. Okay. So we know that there is one foot is worth 12 inches. All right. Now, I do know of a way to get from feet to miles. If you page back through, we know that one mile, so we've gotten rid of our inches. Now we want to get rid of our feet, so that's why I put the feet down here. You see that the feet cancel. And so the only unit I'll be left with will be this miles in a second. We now have 5,280 feet in one mile. All right. And so now we have our calculation set up for us right here. So I'll walk you guys through it. We're going to take that answer that we have, if we multiply by 1, that doesn't change anything. Now we can divide by 12. <coughs> okay, so we have that. Now we would multiply by 1, that doesn't change anything. Now we get to divide by 5,280. Right, and our answer we get is approximately 255.8297822, da 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 da, like so. All right, but this is where you got to be careful. It said to answer to the nearest mile. That would not get you full marks on a quiz. I would take off um, half a mark for that. What you now need to do is round up. So of course, if we're rounding, we take this, round this one up. Eight rounds it up, so we have 256 miles. Like so is your final answer. All right, this assignment that you see right here, you can uh, ignore for right now. It was something that I didn't get rid of from last year. Um, so what I want you guys to do now is you will um, finish up any last things you need on your notes. Of course, if you miss something, this is, this one was taken in class, but normally you guys are going to be controlling this on your own. Uh, you could go back, you could rewatch something that maybe didn't make sense. The beauty is, too, as you're doing your assignment, if you come to a question that maybe didn't make sense, well, have your, um, have your phone or your computer nearby, and then you can go and, and watch it again. All right, so that uh, concludes our first lesson. Now you'll move on to doing the assignment portion of it, and you'll look at the front of the package. It has the, uh, the numbers that I would like you guys to do.